right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Worlds. We're here sitting in our car. It's a little rainy outside, but we made it all the way up to Los Angeles, California, and even a little bit further than that, right? We're here in Northridge, California for? First through to the other side, right? Grace of Baja Northridge, Sensei Hamlo Bahala, King of Pujada. Uh, man, cannot wait to see what goes down this morning. Another early morning training session, at least by our standards. I love it. And, uh, we're not even sure who's going to be here today. It could be really fun stuff. We got Edwin, I'm sure, will be on the mats. Homolo himself. Uh, Victor Silverio might show up. So a lot of great guys. And uh, looking forward to seeing how they get ready for the biggest event of the year. Absolutely. Worlds just 20, 19 days away. Something like that. And Gracie Baja always brings one of the biggest and best squads to this tournament. So I'm super excited, like Chase said, to check this one out. Let's go. Let's do it. What are we waiting for? The guys like start to come at like 920. And I said, okay, I start 930. Now they show up at 10. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I am style. I honestly don't know how to do it. Watch it. Oh shit, I gotta get that rashi on right back. Get up. Make sure you guys stay in a spot and pick it up, pick who is gonna pull first, okay? One person pulling first. I'm gonna tell you guys swap over. After a few minutes, mm -hmm. it's not like okay, I'm pulling guard and Trove like okay, no, no, he passed the guard. That's not the train, okay? The train is like it's real. So you pulling guard, you try to set up attack, set up sweeps, and the person try to reach in a good position. But it's a quick. It's like kind of like a 30 seconds go. Okay, got it? Okay, let's go. Ready? Go. Friday usually like when the tournament approach, you know, like uh, usually I don't like to keep like a showing techniques, you know, like okay, here's the technique because everybody has a different style. On those Fridays, like four weeks before the woods, usually it's like we do this warm up that is like very important, I believe, is a guard pull. Like one person try to set up a good guard pull, set up a position, set up a grips, and the person on top try to react quickly. React quickly, like pass the guard or improve his position, not allow the person on bottom to control him. So this is the warm up, you know. So after this warm up, we're gonna do first point training. We're gonna get like a heavyweight one side, light to the other side, and then we're gonna do first point training. And then like where we score first point, our submission is still in the middle. And then it's also a quick train, it's like one minute and a half. If nobody scores points, then both guys go back to the line. I believe this is a very important part of the game too because you get like the idea to not allow the person to score quickly and then try to score first, you know? Like then very important part of the tournament, especially in black belt, you know? Don't think about what's next, try to win the train, okay? You're supposed to lose next train, you're supposed not to win three rounds. Okay? Because you're putting the effort, enough effort on that training, not on the next one. Okay? So let's go. One trip. Let's see. Let's go one Let's see if you can do three. Don't let him do three, uh, Arion. One with you. Move up. Move up. Move up. Paro. Nice. I like it. I like it. And then Victor, he's, man, he's so talented and then uh, he, he's explosive. He's like, he's mean, you know? And then I think Victor in the past year, he actually got uh, really serious on the train, you know? Like he's been training every single day. Like he has been proved a lot, not because he's training with me. I believe because he's taking more serious. I, I feel like now it's different. It's just different. I feel like I feel ready, you know, like it's it's hard to explain actually because like last year I felt like I was ready but I didn't really feel inside of me that I was ready and all those years before I didn't really feel like I was ready and I, I feel like now I'm ready because it's a lot because this training you know like training those guys like so I don't know it's just like hard it's like it's hard but makes you like, super ready like mentally there's no like I feel like super super confident like I never felt before in my whole life and then man, he's, uh, I think he's waiting for the words, you know, like he waiting for a put walk and then last year he had like a very tight match with the Renato Canudo and then he always beat like a good guy, he have beat Lucas Barbosa, Hulk. In the day of the wars I have to fight, like my life depend on it, that's what, that's the advice that I got from Gabriel, he's like, in the day, I mean, Vito, you're gonna win, you're just gonna go there and you're gonna fight like your life depend on it. And then like, uh, why you beat those guys and cannot be a world champion, it's just up in your head and then they consist on the train and he's been consistent, he's been focused, he's been, his mind is be good, you know, like I think he's a uh, way to surprise a lot of people in this world championship. But, but I feel like, I feel like this year it's going to be, um, it's going to be different.
Feeling great. Everybody here is good. It's fucking world championship every day here. Go. Now Kina here, Romulo, Gabriel, Otavio, Ali, Felipe. It's like you can't get worse than that. You know? Toughest training you can find anywhere? For sure, 100%. 100%. I'm not, I don't even, I'm not even crushing myself. For sure, 100%. It's probably the most concentrated talent in the U.S. next to where I was before. Um, so it's cool to see from both coasts. The only gym I missed was Marcelo's, but I plan to go back there and try and get some training in. But uh, between here and Solos in San Diego, it's pretty high-level training, man. Homo is an awesome teacher, too. I've learned a lot already just watching his classes. and. Victor, they keep an awesome pace here. Everyone's in super good shape. That brown belt I was rolling with, with the blonde hair is like a secret killer that I never heard about. I have nightmares about his clothes guard already. But uh, training's going good. <laughs> Gonna hit that next round. I play open guard only. <laughs> You know, like uh, I spoke to Kina right before I actually anything was announced, you know, like uh, that uh, he was like a living Atos. And, uh, you know, like I told him, I said, yeah, you know, like obviously I represent a big team, you know, which is Gracie Barra. So when Kina asked me to come here, I asked all my black belts, you know, like what do you guys think? And then everybody was like, yes, 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 you know, like. Uh, and then Kina is kind of like, uh, he's like, no place to train, you know, like I feel that um, Kina has done a lot for the sport. And then if I can do like a, something, like bring some train for him, you know, like so he can train a little bit and then be prepared to win the world. I told him I think he deserved to be a, a black belt world champion. So uh, I don't think there's nothing wrong there, you know, like I'm, I'm just like, a, I'm a support of the sport, you know, even though that I represent Grace Abbas since day one, but uh, there's nothing wrong to help somebody that uh, it's, it's not really a team right now. And then like right before the world, you know. I didn't want to go to other gyms in the past. Like I wanted to just train there. But now it's like I want to keep doing this. Like I want to keep training at other places. I would like to just do this all the time, you know? So yeah, it's awesome training over here. Like Tom is super chill. He's like got a really interesting vibe with his students. It's not like, uh, it's more like a friendship vibe it seems like. Like he's just cool with everyone and it's not like, doesn't keep them to a super strict schedule. Um, it's all very laid back here, but they train super hard. Victor is super tough, but he's like a lightweight, but he feels like a heavyweight and he's vegan. And then Homolo still got it. It's like I, I felt like I was searching for some sort of new energy to like imbue myself with. And that's what this trip around the, around the nation, not the world, around the nation uh, has done for me. It's like really imbued me with like new energy of people and techniques and opened my eyes to just how big it all is. And like, yeah, he bring good vibes, you know, like it was amazing training. He's very different style. I like a lot to train with him, you know, like uh, have a really hard time to train with him, but it makes me make me grow, make me learn more, make me improve, you know. Jiu-Jitsu is so deep and so rich, and it's like such a huge learning experience. And that, that's what really sucks people in in the first place, is you can come into Jiu-Jitsu and every single day you're learning new things, like literally more things than you can actually retain. So like every single day, for like literally 10 to 15 years forever, you know. This trip is really kind of showing me like, Wow, I think that learning is still out there, you know? All right, Chase, a lot to unpack from that crazy training session. We just finished things up here in uh, Gracie Baja, Northridge. Uh, Keenan was there, Victor Silverio, Homolo, but even you got to train out there, man. You got to put the gi on, how was that? Man, what a scene. So it's super cool to be a fly on the wall, but also get a little sweat in myself. Right? Um, Homolo's gym is a must stop. If you're anywhere in, in near the LA area, you gotta go drop in. Homolo is the man. It's a great training session, can really put you through the paces, but it's also super fun. I had a great time getting a little sweat in training with his guys. I stayed away from the elite level black belts because I'm, you know, like <laughs> almost 200 pounds lighter, I think, <laughs> give or take, than those guys. But I had a lot of fun out there and it was really great to, uh, to finally get to train a little bit on the trip because as you guys know, when you're traveling out there, sometimes you don't get to sweat at the sweat at the usual rate and man, it's, it's, it's hard on the body. So getting a little workout in is great. Yeah, one of the best parts about these trips, about traveling is, is jumping in these, these different gyms all over the place. But man, what a crazy training session. 
Keenan was there, Homolo there. Uh, very interesting to see Homolo kind of open his doors to, to Keenan, right? And, and, and really invite him into, into such a big team like Gracie Baja. You know, he kind of comes from a rival team mm -hmm. in, in Atos. So very, very humbling, I think, to, to see those, those guys uh, working with Keenan, wouldn't you say? I think Homolo's kind of best classified as the cool uncle of Jiu Jitsu lately. <laughs> you know, yeah. he's, he's just so welcoming and supportive of everyone. It doesn't matter the team. If someone's doing something cool, uh, Homolo's supportive. I remember Marco Sunoco had a really cool sweep at the Rio Grand Slam it's from Spider Guard, and Homolo left a comment on our Instagram page saying, Man, I gotta learn that. It just shows like super humble, super welcoming. Yeah. And yeah, watching him and Keenan interact, talk technique, get a little training in themselves. Uh, it, it was, I was really inspired just to be there on the mat and exactly. just watch. So it was definitely a, a privilege in this session. Yeah, definitely. You know, two extremely high-level black belts, and both of them recognize that there's plenty to learn from, mm. from each other. So definitely um, a lot of fun. Like you said, very inspiring on, on the mats to, to, to be there. But uh, great, great session, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of like the first week of our of our it's road been a to week world. For sure. it's, been, it's been a good week. It's been an intense week. I hope you guys have been following along. Um, but of course, things aren't stopping here. We're rolling over. We're going to do another week. We got a whole bunch more stuff in store for you guys. So I hope y'all are following along. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on the vlog.